Hello and welcome to another box opening video on the channel. Today we are opening up a box of Original Conspiracy. Uh, I know this is kind of random, but uh, I actually really like Conspiracy. I think there's a lot of interesting cards in it. The foil prices are obviously fantastic, uh, as with many of these sort of reprint and one-off sets. Uh, there's things like Dak Faden, which are at the top. Uh, Exploration, I believe, is in here as well. And even reprints like uh, Brainstorm which I think is kind of cool. I mean, obviously, Brainstorm is not an expensive card, but a foil version goes for a decent amount. So hopefully we get something kind of interesting in here. There's also just some interesting cards that were only printed in Conspiracy, uh, Dak Fade, of course, being the first. But uh, I believe Grinzo is in here, the original Grinzo, uh, which is a really cool card, if I do say so myself. So uh, we're going to quickly go through the commons. There's nothing too crazy of value here. Uh, but we will go through briefly the uncommons and then, of course, the rare. So we kick off with a Woodvine Elemental, a Bold Weir Intimidator, a Plagued Rasalka, and our rare, first rare, Ignition Team. Uh, I don't think that's anything too fantastic. Of course, we have our foil here, Grixis Illusionist. Uh, and this set also had Conspiracy cards, which obviously is part of where the name came from, but... They made it really fun to draft because, for instance, with this one, it has Hidden Agenda, so you start the game with this card face down if you've drafted it. Uh, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell with the chosen name, which you choose when you draft this card, you may actually draw a card on top of that. So, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. It added a whole new dynamic to drafting that uh, we hadn't really seen yet. So, I thought it was really interesting, and I know Conspiracy 2 is also, there's Brainstorm. Uh, Conspiracy 2 also had a lot of that, and it's just really fun. I don't know. It was really, really fun. Uh, Wind Dancer, Predator's Howl, Explorer's Scope, and Selvala, Explorer Return. This is actually a really, really good card, so happy to see that. Uh, Lurking Automation. Put that there. Automaton, excuse me. Um, so, question for you guys. Did you actually play... Uh, with Conspiracy when it first came out. Were you around playing at that time? Or uh, are you fairly new to the game? Wood Sage, Vow of Duty, Elephant Guide, and Demir Doppelganger. Um, if you did, I'd love to hear about it because unfortunately, uh, I never got to draft this original Conspiracy. And in fact, I don't think I even opened any original Conspiracy. I opened quite a lot of Conspiracy 2, uh, as you can ask Will. He will attest to that. Um, Altar of Dementia. Um, I really, really opened a lot of that, uh, but I never really got to open this set. So unfortunately, it's one of those sets that I've always wanted to open, uh, but never actually did. So I'm getting the chance to finally, uh, which is kind of nice because it's not all that expensive. I think this box was right at 90 to to $100, something along those lines. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, Reign of the Pit. It's our rare. Um, nothing too crazy, thankfully, which is kind of nice. Hopefully we get something like a Dak Faden to uh, make it really worth it, I would say. But honestly, it's really just fun opening up this set because, again, it is so unique and there's a lot of really good reprints. Uh, that's interesting. Those are really close. Um, Factor Fiction also being in here, which is fantastic. Death Render is our rare. And a foil rare, Altar of Dementia. That's pretty cool. Uh, Cogwork Librarian. This is another example of a card uh, that you draft face up, and as you draft it, you may draft an additional card from that booster pack if you do uh, put this back into that booster pack. So, just kind of interesting. A um, lot of really cool mechanics that just let you sort of mess with people's drafts, or really hopefully make yours a lot better. Um, it's just a lot of fun, I think. A lot of fun. So, let's see... Sulfuric Vortex, excuse me. Uh, definitely not of too much value, but a very fun card nonetheless. Um, Commander loves that card uh, for your red aggro decks. Let's see what we get. Uh, I love the art for Death Reap Ritual, by the way. Fantastic. Smallpox Exploration. There we go. That's a great card. So. Uh, one mana, one green mana for an enchantment, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. So it's, because it's an enchantment, obviously, you just always get that, which is so sweet. Um, it just lets you ramp like crazy for only one mana. I mean, that's really, really good. Um, one of the cards I was hoping to get. Sakura Tribelder, also great. 
Woodvine Elemental, Quicksand. Uh, Spirit Monger, this is a classic card. I uh, actually pulled an original Spirit Monger. I don't remember what set it was out of, but out of the Krakapak series we got an original one, so it's kind of interesting to see that as well. Oops, let's put that here. Uh, Spontaneous Combustion, we have Foil. It's fantastic. It's actually a really nice foil. Um, Altar of Dementia, also the foil rare that we've gotten, is a fairly interesting card. Um, I've been kind of wanting to jump back into building a mill deck and potentially a mill commander deck, and I feel like that card would be fantastic, so we'll see. Uh, Bassandra, Battle Seraph, a beautiful card, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I actually have a foil version of that, which is one of my favorite cards, uh, just for the artwork. I think um, just the way the colors interact and everything, it's absolutely stunning. So let's see. Intimidator, Extract from Darkness. Uh, Decimate, this is a huge commander staple. Uh, destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. All for four mana, which is absolutely insane. Um, definitely sees a ton of commander play for very good reasons, obviously. Um, but hopefully, we still haven't found Dak Faden, uh, which I'm hoping to find. Quicksand. There we go. Our first mythic, Coercive Portal. This is actually a card I was wanting as well, solely for cube. Uh, it has one of the sort of um, mechanics that this set features, which is Will of the Council, which basically lets each player vote for certain things. And then whatever has the most votes or is tied for the most votes gets uh, activated. So in that case, each uh, upkeep you either vote for, let's see, uh, Carnage or Homage. Uh, if Carnage gets more votes, sacrifice the portal and destroy all non-land permanents. If Homage gets more votes or the vote is tied, you draw a card. Which generally, uh, unless you're super far behind, means that you're just going to be drawing an, uh, an extra card every turn, which is super good. Academy Elite. Um, I'm trying to think what other... There's a dragon in this set that I cannot think of the name of that is, I believe, of some value. Brainstorm, obviously. A foil brainstorm would be ideal. Um, so it wouldn't be bad to get that dragon, though. Realm Seekers. Uh, a foil valor made real. It's an interesting card. <laughs> Uh, also, I wanted to ask, are people excited about the new sets coming out? Because obviously Dominaria and, ooh, there's Factor Fiction, uh, Dominaria is coming out very soon, but before that even, we have um, Masters 25, which I think will be fairly interesting. Uh, Drakestown Forgotten, by the way, is our rare, and a foil Mizio's Preparations. Um, I'm really interested to see what ends up being in Masters 25. I also don't know if this video is going to be going up uh, as soon as I record it or not, so if it isn't and there have been more spoilers, I apologize, but at the time of the recording, Jace uh, has really been the biggest spoiler uh, and probably might remain the biggest spoiler for a little while at least uh, in the set, which a lot of people are kind of unhappy about, I feel like. I mean, some people are happy that it's there, but not the way that they went about it, just because, you know, they made it modern legal, and then they're now uh, reprinting it, which... Oh, there we go. Grinzo. This is a card that I definitely wanted to get. Um, that it, ju it just seems a little weird, right? Like, um, they spoil Jace in the set, and then all of a sudden they unban it, and... People are feeling like that's a bit of just marketing scheming, uh, which it might be, to be honest, but I it doesn't really bother me that much. I mean, it's a little weird, but Magister of Worth, by the way, is another fantastic piece of artwork. Um, it's just a little weird, that's all. I, I feel like a lot of people are very unhappy about that. Um, but as far as Jace being unbanned, and in fact Bloodbraid being unbanned as well, um, we've talked about it in the podcast episodes and even did a uh, stream where we featured a couple decks with those cards and uh, ill-gotten gains, by the way, is over. Um, and it just, I don't know, it, it didn't seem too overpowered. Like, obviously the cards are fantastic, there's no questioning that, and obviously we're going to see quite a lot of them uh, in the coming months, I'm guessing, in the coming few tournaments, but uh, I don't think, oh, there we go, Dak Faden, heck yes. Perfect. Um, 
But I don't think that it's by any means, you know, breaking the format. I think if anything, it probably will focus the format a bit, which, uh, and by that I mean, like, I don't think necessarily there's a reason to go Abzan for mid-range right now, because Jund might be better, or even Rug might be better. Uh, but, oh, Stifle, great card. Uh, Orcish Cannonade also for a foil, but... But I just don't think that, you know, there's a huge reason to go Abzan now because you want Bloodbraid in your deck. So running white just kind of feels uh, less proactive, I guess, is the best way to put it. So, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if that's good or bad necessarily. Ooh, another Decimate. Um, whew, got too many cards over here, guys. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, Modern's in a really healthy place, uh, I believe, right now at least. And so it kind of sucks to see them throw a wrench into things when it is in a very healthy state. My hope, though, is that just because these cards have been unbanned doesn't mean that the entire format is going to be warped and it's going to be this terrible thing. Hopefully it's just going to be fun to play with new cards, you know? I mean, that's the idea, at least. Another Sulfuric Vortex. Interesting. Um, I mean, that's the goal. That, I, I just want Modern to be fun and healthy for everybody, so... Hopefully we can keep that. Uh, obviously we'll see how that actually goes, but uh, a lot of people feel that it's not going to happen that way. Uh, Edric, Spy Master of Trust, a great card. And Tragic Slip Foil, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know. Share your thoughts on that if you'd like to. Uh, I definitely think it's up for debate for a lot of people, so uh, honestly only time will really tell, because we're not going to know until we actually get into it. So Misdirection. Another great reprint. Uh, and then a foil glimmer point stack. Um, we're really not going to know until, you know, the next tournament or something, but again, I just don't think that uh, it's going to be this game changer that people think it is. But we will see. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I'm fine with that. Mortify is a great card. Reflecting Pool. This is a fantastic land, by the way. Uh, it, you can tap it to add mana to your mana pool. Uh, one mana of any color a land you own or you control can produce. Excuse me. Uh, we also have a rare Conspiracy World Knit. Fantastic. Uh, these Conspiracy cards are really cool, so if you have a cube or anything like that and you want to build maybe a Conspiracy-focused cube or something like that, you can do that, and they just... I feel like they just up the, the fun of it so much. Uh, a second Exploration and a Lore Seeker. Um, oh, this is an interesting card. So, uh, reveal it as you draft it. After you draft Lore Seeker, you may add a booster pack to your draft. So you can actually just pick any booster pack you want and add it to your draft. Um, pretty interesting, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, again, the flavor of this set is so great. Uh, playing with draft mechanics more so than any other set, at least the, at the start. Uh, ooh, Pristine Angel, a fantastic mythic. Beautiful card. And a foil backup plan. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I also wanted to mention, uh, as we're kind of winding down, we have five or six more packs here. Uh, if anybody has a suggestion of a box they'd like us to open, uh, we're going to try and start doing these once a month. Ooh, Route. Love the artwork on Route. Uh, we're going to try and start doing these once a month. And just uh, opening up a box just for the fun of it because people seem to like box openings and I wouldn't mind going back and opening some boxes that are not necessarily standard boxes that uh, bring up some old stuff. Dax Doppelganger, very nice. Um, bring up some older sets, not necessarily high value sets, just for fun. Um, if we can afford a high value set, by all means, we'll go for it. But if we can't, then I don't mind opening up more Conspiracy, uh, more of really anything. So Grinzo's Rebuttal. Um, if you do have a box suggestion, just let us know, because obviously we want to make this content something you guys enjoy, so uh, if that would help you guys enjoy it, then by all means. So, a Silent Arbiter. This card is really interesting. Uh, it's a 1-5 for 4. No more than one creature can attack each combat, and no more than one creature can block each combat. So, very much a uh, prison card. And then we have a Foil Rare, Heartless. Uh, whatever. I cannot pronounce that, uh, but that's actually a really good card, too, especially in Commander. <coughs> Probably only in Commander, to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, favorable wins. 
Ooh, Vampire Hex Mage. But a Council's Judgment, another fantastic rare. A card I was really hoping to get, in fact. Uh, starting with you, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes or tied for the most votes. So uh, another interesting point about this was these drafts were meant to be played in like at least four man pods. And so you got to vote with more than just you and a singular opponent. There was actually at least two more opponents that got to vote along with everything. So it was a lot more fun. Uh, plea for power. Last two packs. Uh, we've actually gotten a lot of the cards I was hoping to get. Uh, Dak Faden definitely being at the top. But I believe whatever the dragon's name is would be great. Uh, there's... Ooh, Swords of Plowshares. Uh, Rhea Dawnbringer, a great card. Um, there's also, what is it, um, it's, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a black and green enchantment, Pernicious Deed, I believe, uh, that would also be great, let's see what we get, this is the last pack, Uncontrollable Anger, Glimmer Point Stag, Skeletal Scrying, and Marchesa, not bad, uh, definitely cool to see another Mythic, we also have Whisper, Gear Sneak, so, uh, this also featured one of the mechanics that was in the set, Dethrone. Uh, whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life, you get to put a 1-1 counter on it. Other creatures you have you control have dethrone, and whenever another creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. So it really incentivized um, going for the person with the most life, and because this sort of reoccurred your creatures on its own, it was really, really powerful. So... Let's see what we got very quickly. Uh, these are obviously all of our rares. Marchesa is fantastic. Council's Judgment is great. Silent Arbiter, I'm actually pretty happy with. Uh, let's see, Pristine Angel, fantastic. Exploration, Reflecting Pool, Misdirection, Edric. Uh, Decimate is up there. Stifle, Dak Faden, probably at the very top. Uh, Grinzo was a card I was hunting for. Uh, Coercive Portal, Second Decimate, Second, second Exploration, Foil Altar, and Silvala. Actually, a really good box, I would say. I'm actually super happy with this. I got almost every single card I was hoping to get. Generally doesn't happen when you're opening boxes randomly, but pretty happy with that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you did. Uh, and make sure to subscribe. We're going to try and do these box openings once a month, so hopefully you guys can enjoy those. But until the next one, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.